It's Football Weekly, the digital edition, along with Rick Neuheisel and Jake Plummer. Mike Yam, my man. Former Husky coach Rick Neuheisel. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, now they have Oregon, who's back in the top 10. You were the last coach who used to be on the sidelines for the Huskies to pull off a win against That's them. That's unbelievable to me. It's been 10, yeah. 10 times in a row that the, the uh, Ducks have beaten the Huskies. And I promise you, there is not a more hated rivalry where the fans really just don't like one another. This one is always one that gets under the collar of the losing side. You were always well liked by the crowd. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> loved. <laughs> Mr. Big. <laughs> Smiling ear to ear every time you were walking Wherever in. Nick Aliotti oh. is right now, you have to admit that you and I are friends, even though it's going to ruin your reputation <laughs> in town. It, it actually has played out that way. Jake, in your mind, for, for you, Dub, to, to pull off a win here, what has to happen? Well, they got to ride their defense. The defense looked great last week, uh, but word to you guys this isn't Cal you're going to be going against this is University of Oregon they look like they have their swagger back they got the running backs Tyner Marshall Freeman all running the ball well and when Oregon runs the ball well they're damn near unbeatable Jake Fisher's back healthy if that old line keeps getting healthy and oh Farrell Brown tied in getting him in the mix and there's one other guy oh Marcus Mariota good luck Good luck stopping him. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Now, Washington has improved, and I, I like what I see. This could be a really competitive, fun game to watch. But I'm telling you, that Washington offense needs to also stay on the field because that's part of playing defense is staying on the field, eating up the clock, and not letting Marcus Mariota, who I believe is one of the, the best QBs in the country, you know, run around and do his thing. I think this, you know, as I said last week when we were talking about Washington lining up against Cal, that Washington's defense is set up for the spread. They've got so many good athletes at the linebacker level. You're talking about Shaq Thompson. You're talking about John Timu. You're talking about Travis Feeney. Uh, Howley Kikaha, all those guys are good athletes. They can get out there and cover people down in space. That's what this was meant to uh, defend when the, when the the idea was conceived. And so if they can play like they played a week ago against Cal, get guys down in space, they're going to keep this game close. Jake Fisher returning to the Oregon offensive lineman certainly was a shot in the arm, but it doesn't solve all the problems. On the other side, the other tackle, still a true freshman, Tyrell Crosby, who you know might be a terrific player but yeah. still hasn't had a lot of experience. When he has to block, guys like Kikaha and Feeney coming off the edge, it can spell a little trouble for that Oregon offense. Remember, they gave up, before the UCLA game, they gave up 12 sacks. Zero against the, uh, the Bruins, but remember this, the Bruins weren't sacking anybody anyway. So my point is that this game's going to be very competitive. The question for me is going to come down to uh, the quarterback at Washington, Miles. Can he keep it turnover free? If he can, in a tough environment like Autzen Stadium, then I think the dogs are going to be right in it in the fourth quarter. Good news for Husky fans based off of your assessment. Tyler Miles still hasn't thrown an interception just yet. If that stays true, at least in your mind, it could be. I think it's going to be very one. close. Uh, by the way, at the end of the night on Saturday, when the games are all over, it's the Dr. Pepper postgame report. We will have complete analysis of this matchup between Washington and Oregon for everything that's happening around the conference. Follow us on Twitter at Pac-12 Networks. Yes, it is plural for Rick and Jake. I'm Mike. Thanks so much for watching.